The old ball and chain, Martin. Are you getting nervous? Tell the truth. No, I'm not nervous. You're not nervous? No. You look nervous. Huh? It's just the way you look. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not nervous. Really? No. No. Yeah. 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 The last remaining bachelor in the duck call shop is fixing to tie the knot. Face is real. It's sunburnt nerves. To say that Martin needs some grooming, huh? Is an understatement. Yeah. That's why they call us groomsmen. You should be nervous. Hey, we're talking about eternity here. What God has joined again, let, let not no man, man separate. Right. Although we're not very well groomed, uh, we do know a thing or two about marriage. The boy's life, okay, is over as he knows it. I tell you, y'all are one fine support system here. He'll thank us for all the advice one day. So have you decided who's gonna be your best man? I'd be a pretty good best man. Huh? I thought I was your best man anyway. No, I said you were the best man for planning the bachelor party. When is the bachelor party? Because we're gonna send the boy out in a blaze of glory. Boom! Fireball! Hey. You can get the email? Uh-oh. I don't get email. I'll check the email. So I don't even know what an email That's is. That's right. I sent out email. Gowan, bring cabin stuff. That's it? That's it. Cabin stuff. What is cabin stuff? You know, cabin stuff. You that... boys don't know nothing about a bachelor party. OK, nobody has said anything about explosives. You got to have explosives at a bachelor party. Cabin stuff. Cabin stuff. Oh! Gowan? You did good. Man, this place is awesome. Did y'all see that cannon outside? Look man. at all this stuff. Yep, that's a cannon. Look at all these old guns, man. Well, we got a Civil War pistol here. Hey, Mark. Huh? Hand me them gloves over there. All right. Do I, be I do declare, sir. What? I challenge you to a duel. Have you lost your mind? Why'd you say I am General Nathan Beauregard. What? And we will meet on the field of honor, sir, unless you are a coward. Say <laughs> that again, man. Find yourself a pistol. Do it again. Boys, this cabin, hey, it's perfect for a bachelor party, OK? It's got everything you need. Dueling pistols, OK, gloves to slap people with. He's got all the usual suspects here. Rattlesnake, you got the loggerhead, and the, uh, the little, uh, Mutant. That's a chupacabra, boys. No, it's not. Hey, guaranteed. OK, no wonder Gowan picked his spot. It looked like a redneck Applebee's in here. Gowan, what's on the menu? Ta-da! What is it? Looks like a printer. It's a bread maker. Gowan, have you ever actually been to a bachelor party? I want to try it out. No, the answer's no. Well, there's old Al. Hey. How's it, bearded ladies? Bang zone. Ready to get this party started? What in the world is that? It's my karaoke machine. I'm talking about that growth on your face right above your top lip. And you're talking about this stash? Is that thing going to be on your face for my wedding? Mm-hmm. Focal point. This is premeditated beard murder. Al didn't arrive just fashionably late. He arrived about 40 years late. I, mean, I don't encourage shaving, except in an emergency situation. And that's that's 911 right there. Uh -oh. And I've never felt better. Mustaches by themselves haven't been cool since about the 70s. I'm against all mustaches. And we all know that that was a troubling period of American history. Magnum P.I., greatest detective of all time. Is that not true, sir? What? Identity crisis. Identity success. The oil crisis, inflation, discos, the me generation, mustaches. Chuck Norris. Dale Earnhardt. Dale Earnhardt. Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott. Uh -oh. That's a good one. Right. Coincidence? I think not. I mean, the bachelor party was started off good, and now it's taken a turn. You ready to fire up a little Steely D? For the worst. Hey. The first man that uses that teriyaki machine gets <laughs> OK? <laughs> with my dueling pistol. He already slapped me with a glove. Oh, 
guys. I think I've got this thing. I can't get it to turn on for some reason. Got a short. Look. Check, check. Y'all hearing that? Nope. Perfect. This looks like I'm gonna have to do this acapella. Let me stop you right there. Look around and tell me what you see. Lures. Knives. Broken karaoke machine. A big blue marlin. Chupacabra, boys. No, Si. It's right there in front of me. All right, chupacabra, boys. No! That's the best thing in here. Weapons. Oh, all right. Look, I'm not an expert when it comes to bachelor parties, but I do know when it's time to spice things up. You got all these weapons, some of them I hadn't even ever seen before. Well, let's go blow something up. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, we can always do Steely Dan later. No. No, we're not doing it. A bachelor party should not be about... Check, check. Pumpernickel bread. Chupacabra, boys. It's about celebrating being a man. And the best way to celebrate that is with a gun in your hand. I'd like to shoot that Kentucky flintlock. That's what I'm talking about. I got the ammo over in that shed. He has an ammunition shed? Yeah. What are we doing sitting around here eating bread? Let's go shoot some stuff. Hang on. Choose wisely and I'll meet you outside. Well, hang on. What? Hang on. I got no rising over here. Forget well, the dough! No rise. You don't like to watch it? Grab the spare gun. Pay ya! Hi, sir. Challenge you to a duel. All right, everybody's got your powder? Yep. Got it? All right, load <laughs> the powder. Boy, this is uh, taking a little bit of time here, boys. If I was on the other side, y'all'd all be dead. Hey, everybody that's been in the military knows, hey, you've got to be ready for battle at a moment's notice. Can you imagine somebody charging you while you're having to do this? All right, boys, I'm at full cock. Hold on. Wait. Calm down. He usually goes off half cock. All right. If you wasn't ready with the enemy attack, hey, you couldn't just say, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, hold on now. Everybody ready yet? No. Hey, look, if this was a real battle, Martin would have lost half of his groomsmen. Are you ready? Let me get comfortable. What are we doing? Hey. All right, hold on. Fire! Hold on. Hey, fire! Wait. No. Lucky for Jace, the opposition ain't much of a threat. Private Dingleberry, you have insulted my whole family's honor. Prepare to die, sir. Ready? That's what I'm talking about. When I hit that flower, did I not look like Charles Bronson? Ah, Charles Bronson? Yeah, exactly. You did not hit the flower. What are you talking you about? don't look like Charles Bronson. Death Wish? You look like Tito, Tito Bronson. That works for me. Man, when you shoot this thing, it feels like you're shooting a cannon. Oh, my goodness. How they ever hit anything with it, I don't know. Wait a second. Why don't we go shoot the real cannon? Oh, now no. we're talking. He don't know nothing about no heavy artillery. I hate to say it, but I think I'm with Sai on this. You didn't come this far to retreat. This country was established on the back of cannons. I'm in. I'm in. America. It's in the national anthem. Bombs bursting in air. Uh-oh. You got me. You got me there. I'm all in for it. Plus, we're teaching Martin the greatest attribute in marriage. What, shoot a cannon? It's easier to get forgiveness than permission. This is marriage 101. Come on, Martin. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I have wanted to shoot that cannon ever since I saw it. Let's fire that cannon. Now it's turned into a bachelor party, boys. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? Death. Jeff could blow us all up. Could just be maimed. <laughs> What do you think? She's loaded down, boys. We're fixed to send that thing up into outer space. You think you're gonna hit the barrel with the cannonball? 
Yeah. I bet you anything that you can't blow up that barrel. Anything? Anything. I will bet you that mustache. Oh, now wait a minute. We will blow up that barrel. Let's don't go crazy here about the mustache. The mustache is staying. Put your stash where you, your mouth is, OK? Uh, whatever. <laughs> Uh, are you confident or not? I feel very confident in b keeping my stash. That's all I can say. If you're that sure about it, yeah, I'll, I'll put my mustache up. Yeah, we that's how confident deal. I am. Are we gonna blow something up, or are we gonna sit here and <laughs> yo know, run well, our mouths? Hey, I just made a bet. All right, Cannoneer's post. When's the last time you done this? Hey, Cannoneer's post. That means assume your position, especially you, Private Dingleberry. Mm -hmm. Hey, my military career didn't end after Vietnam. I've taken part in countless Civil War reenactments. No! Bent thaw. What? What'd he say? Bent thaw. I can't understand what he said. Thaw. Fire Civil War cannons, OK? Look, it's not rocket science. Worm the barrel. Clear. Advance the round. Hey, rocket science? That wasn't invented till later. Ready. One! Party, boys. I don't know which is better. Seeing that cannon blow that barrel to smithereens no! or never having to stare at Al's mustache again. Bye-bye, Stash. Uh-oh. This is under protest. Sorry, you, Al. You got a razor? The only thing that could have made it better was that if the concussion of the blast made Al's mustache go away. But fortunately for Al, there's a safer way to remove facial hair. Smooth as a baby's bottom. Well, as I feel naked without my mustache. Well, I wish I could say you look better, but nah. No, oh, I look good either way, so. Well, I missed the cannon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. Crap. You also missed the mustache. Who had a mustache? I don't want to talk about it. All right, what do y'all say? We say a prayer, bless the food, and then eat. All right. That sounds like a wonder to me. 